What's going on guys, Elisha here. Welcome back to Gall. This is the weekly show where I'll be discussing everything from the past week in the world of football. So if you're new and you don't know how things kind of go around here, make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you receive the notification every single week when a video drops and also during the week when other football related videos are posted on this channel. With that being said, let's get right into the football. First off, we're talking about the massacre that happened in the Camp Nou. Barcelona beating Huesca 8-2. Two goals from Suarez, two goals from Lionel Messi, of course. One from Debele, one for Rakitic, one from Jordi Alba, and one on goal. This was actually a really entertaining game. Like, not just because I'm a Barca fan and I really want my team to win every single game, but because both teams had so much space, bleh, so much space during the entire game, it actually made it like it seemed fun, even for the losing team. It seemed like they had so much more space to be free and just roam and make like a lot of passes. And for Barcelona, if you're any team, you can't give Barcelona space to just get their passes in and do whatever they want because they're so good at that. And they will, will massacre you. Like they will be, they, you can't, you gotta, you gotta really be tight when it comes to Barca. And now for the opposition, Real Madrid winning their game 4-1. Back-to-back 4-1 wins for Real Madrid. Then Gareth Bale got a goal. Benzema got himself two. And Sergio Ramos got one. But it seems like Sergio Ramos might be the new free kick taker for Real. You know, for this season so far, he's been taking all of them. Benzema took one. But as a defender, you wouldn't really expect him to be kicking it. But speaking of penalty kick takers for Real Madrid, the penalty kick taker, well, X now, for Real, Ronaldo just can't seem to score. 23 shots so far in the league for Juventus and still hasn't been able to score. I mean, they're winning. They're winning, but he hasn't been too effective for them. He looks dangerous. He's obviously shooting, but no goals yet. And again, I keep saying it, it's only a matter of time. Last year in La Liga, he started off horribly. Like across a couple of games, Paulinho had more goals than him, and he ended up being like one of the top scorers in the league. So there's no worries there. He's just finding his feet. Oh, and by the way, Real Madrid just signed Spanish player Mariano, and he seemed to have taken Ronaldo's number seven. So big shoes to fill, big, big shoes to fill, but we'll see how he adjusts, how, what he can actually bring into the team. Right now, I'm not seeing where he's actually going to fit. Benzema's playing so well. Bale is playing so well. They're really showing that they're not missing that much up front and they're scoring a lot every game so you know he might actually be a super sub and be even more of a threat off the bench but we'll see how that carries on especially in the champions league where the competition is a lot tougher and speaking of ex real madrid players i guess this is a theme this week but di maria scoring a goal for psg straight off the corner Now these goals are rare. Not that like they're so, to me, they're unbelievable. Like, come on. Like to time it perfectly where you kick it and it curves perfectly straight into the goal. Not only that, to have that the goalkeeper was misplaced enough where he was expecting it to be crossed into the crowd so he can go and try to either grab it or punch the ball away. So not having time to come back quick enough to save the ball. It, it's just, those goals are dope. They're, they're crazy. Like, I love these goals. Just like overhead bicycle kicks, all of that. They're just, they're just crazy goals. I love seeing them. It's fun, you know? Like, being a player and daring to do that and risking just wasting a corner kick just to score like that, it's just dope. I like it. But PSG ended up winning that game 4-2. And Mbappe, Mbappe got a red card that's not something you see every day and Bappe, what happened bro what happened you losing your temper but actually i get it i get it like sometimes these referees are out of line like you're getting kicked throughout the whole game and this was a rough game for psg from start to finish that team was kicking their butts a lot of hard fouls from start to finish neymar got himself a yellow like it was it was it was a rough game it was that kind of day so at that point, you know, he was frustrated, but it's, it's so crazy that it happened in stoppage time, in the end of the game. And, you know, he got tackled and 
the referee did nothing about it. So he got up and shoved the player. And sometimes you just got to take justice into your own hands. These refs got to protect the players. If not, make your own justice. And if you're a player that likes to play dirty, then you have to expect that some guys are just gonna check you. And I guess we just have a bunch of reoccurring themes in football this week. Another youngster, young star in football, Marcus Rashford got a red card today after coming off the bench for Manchester United. They won their game 2-0, but again, you know, a player tested him. They were fault, they kinda got a little scrappy on the ground, kicked them in the foot, whatever. Ref said nothing. So Marcus just had to step up to him like, what's up, man? What's going on? What you, what are we doing here? What's up? Like a lot of times, and, and when you're young, you know, these older players think that, oh, he's just, a, he's just a kid. You know, I could just do whatever I want to him. Nah, this is a different era. This is a different time. You know, these guys, these guys are going to stand up for themselves and the refs either got to get with it or they're going to have to be you know, they're going to have to deal with a lot of fights. Yes, it shows a lot of maturity to you when some things like that can happen to you and you can keep your composure. But at the end of the day, these guys are human. They're competitive. They're men. Like, at some point, you got to be like, I'm not going to just let people push me around. But Manchester United are lucky that they actually won that game. Mourinho got a little weird in a press conference earlier this week and it seems like Mourinho is always always blaming somebody oh somebody did this I am this I won this many Premier League come on like at, at some point you got to take responsibility for what's happening in your team and a big surprise surprise in the Premier League Watford beating Tottenham 2-1 Tottenham were leading 1-0 and Watford came back and got the W Whoa! Watford out here beating Tot Tottenham? Tottenham are like the favorite. Who, who would have thought that they would be actually 12 points? Four for four, four Ws at the beginning of the Premier League season. We're watching you, Watford. We, listen, we right here. I see you. And speaking of teams that still haven't taken any else, Ws all around, Chelsea also got their three points this weekend and also Liverpool, but Liverpool conceded their first ever goal this season. Oh my God. And it was a weird one. Number on the sea, the horizon, turn us to thousands. It's no biggie. I mean, he made his mistake and continued to play. He tried to save it, but at that point, you know, it was too late. You just gotta be a little more aware from now on. Game five, game five should be really interesting. Will Liverpool be dethroned? Will Watford be dethroned? Will Chelsea be dethroned? Tune in on the next episode of Dragon Ball F to Tune in for the Premier League, the Premier League next week. And now for some international football. Whoa, wait, international? What are you talking about, Elisha? Yes, international. If you didn't know, the Asian games have been going on and the big talking point, it hasn't been as, you know, broadcasted as it should have. But one of the big talking points had been South Korea. Now, if you remember, Sun Hyung Ming, star for Tottenham, had, you know, was very emotional during the World Cup because they had lost and of course kind of redeemed it made them feel better that they eliminated germany but the thing is is that in south korea and i thought that was a rumor but it's actually true at some point you have to serve 21 months in the military and the only way to escape that is you know before you turn 27 26 you have to win some sort of international competition with your country representing the country in any sporting event and not winning the world cup was a big blow because it means these players only had one chance to win the asian championship to actually be exempt from the military time and they actually did it they actually did it they won they got to the final and they beat japan two to one and now sun can just go back to tottenham and keep playing football he doesn't have to leave for over two years. Every country has their own um, customs. Every country has their own values. That's their culture. That's their country. That's what they do. And we just have to accept it and respect it. And now moving on to the UEFA awards and hilarious, hilarious scene after Sergio Ramos accepted his award for best defender 
I believe he goes back to his seat and kind of all the main nominees or the you know the guys who already knew they were winning I guess they were classed together in one section and before he went back to his seat kind of tapped Salah a little bit and Salah just looked like <laughs> like he would he was not with it he was not with it at all like come on bro don't touch me you injured me in a Champions League final and I almost missed the World Cup my first ever World Cup don't touch me bro but yes, the awards were this week and the biggest one of all, UEFA Player of the Year won by Modric. Modric, congratulations. <laughs> Played wonderfully this whole year. I say arguably the best player for Real last season, which, which now brings the question is, can he actually win the Ballon d'Or? Can he actually, Modric, Luka Modric being the guy who dethrones Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi for the Ballon d'Or. Whoo! It's about time. I hope it happens. Sorry. I hope it happens. Not because they don't deserve it, but they they all deserve. If you get to that point where you're like top three, most of the time it's like you deserve to be amongst those guys. And I think this year it wasn't like a clear, there's no clear, clear winner. Because, you know, some of them, Messi and Ronaldo might have I'm guessing better stats. Modric's contribution to Real this season is just was so incredible. I feel like it might actually be his time. It really, it really might actually be. And now the fact that he reached the final of the World Cup and he was named the best player in the whole tournament, it would really be like it would be tragic if he doesn't win this. Like, I don't see how he won't win the Ballon d'Or. Now, thinking over it, winning the same thing every single year back and forth, might just be, you know, we're in a new time now where other people will actually take over and win the Ballon d'Or, and I'm excited for it. I'm happy for it. They had their time 10 plus years. Now it's time, for, you know, it's time for something new. And with these awards, of course, came the Champions League draw. The groups are set for this year's Champions League, and I couldn't be more happy. Thank you. Finally, PSG. Boom. Napoli. Boom. Liverpool. Boom. And then, you know, you know, Strevesa, Zveda. So, Real's group, they got that. Bayern's group, they got that. I'm excited. I'm really excited about this Champions League. I feel like there's no clear winner, even though Real has dominated for the past two, three years, actually. I feel like this is the year that someone else takes it. I don't know if it's going to be. I'm thinking Bayern is going to make it to the final. But I think that either PSG, Man City, or Barcelona will actually win the entire thing. And a video that I thought was hilarious, so this kid got picked to kick off the game for Olympic Marseille, and he went all out with it. Sliding like, ah! Like he really went for that. Oh, I, would, I would go all out with it go to the referee like ah 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 boop boop ba brrrr pip pip ba ba go do a little salsa dance like mm 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 hey so what whoever's watching have fun that's what life is about that's what football is about having fun that's what this channel is about talking about football football love laughter all that good stuff so if you guys enjoyed this episode right here make sure you drop a like but if you didn't drop a dislike it's okay but let me know down in the comments below why that is also make sure you subscribe to the channel hit that subscribe button you only got to do it once also make sure you check out the social media and the music in the description get the strap and i'll see you guys next time on goal peace yeah yeah go get the strap yeah yeah go get the strap